Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Hebrews chapter one, verse 12, as well as Isaiah chapter two, verse four. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for all you've done, Lord. Thank you for all that we have to look forward to in you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Hebrews chapter one, verse 12, like a robe, you will roll them up like a garment. They will be changed, but you are the same and your years will have no end. Hallelujah. All right, you guys. So this is um, talking about um, the end of, of days, right? The end of, of time. And, and yet God has no end, right? It says like a robe, you will roll them up. So this is talking about the earth that the Lord created. Um, and he's saying like a robe, maybe like um, you would have like an old garment. And when you're done with it, when you've worn it sufficiently and it can't be worn no anymore, you will probably just roll it up and put it away somewhere, right? Maybe use it for um, cleaning or something like that. But it's just like a robe. You will roll them up. So when the Lord is done with this old earth, this this old um, garment of a world, he's going to roll it up, right? It says like a garment, they will be changed. Remember, he's going to make all things new. And so this is like a robe. You will roll them up like a garment. They will be changed. But you are the same. The God who created all of this stuff, he is the same. You guys, this world may change, but he does not. This world may fade away, but he does not. He can see us. He knows us from the beginning to the end. He is the same. He is unchanging. It says, but you are the same and your years will have no end. He will just continue to go on, on and on and on. He will in his perfection, in his love, in his greatness, in his majesty, in his gloriousness, he will not change, right? He is going to stay the same, all right? And so this is conflated today with Isaiah chapter 2, verse 4. He shall judge between the nations and shall decide disputes for many peoples, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. All right. And so this is talking about the millennial reign, right? So um, if anything, both of them are talking about the millennial reign. It says he shall judge between the nations and he, I mean, and shall decide disputes for many people. So he's going to stand as judge. Who's going to stand as judge? They're talking about Christ, right? Remember God, the father and God, the son are one. So that is the, the conflation is that this is the millennial reign and they're talking about the father and the son. And then here specifically in Isaiah chapter two, um, verse four, it's talking about Jesus himself, right? Because remember the, the, um, responsibility of judgment it's to Jesus, right? It has been rendered to Jesus. And so it says, he shall judge between the nations and shall decide disputes for many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, meaning that their weapons of warfare will have no use anymore. So they'll have to make them into farming tools, right? There's going to be this whole new world, this whole new beautiful place um, that has been, uh, you know, newly created. He's made all things new. So what can you do with swords if no one's fighting? What's the point of a sword? So they're going to use swords to cut the ground instead of to cut each other, 
right? The, the ground will be farmed with these swords. It, he will make them into plowshares, meaning they're going to plow the ground. And it says, and their spears into pruning hooks. Um, and so that instead of having these weapons, which are spears to stab each other, we'll be having so much abundance. Um, we're going to be using them to stab other things, right? Pruning things and cutting, cutting the branches and, and cutting the fruit off the branches and, and making the trees better, right? It says nation shall not lift up sword against nation, meaning there will be war no more. It says neither shall there learn war anymore, right? War will have no purpose in this new world, right? We will be living all together and and in harmony, remember the lion and the lamb will be able to lie together. No animals will be harming people. People will get along in that new world. It says he shall judge between the nations and shall decide disputes for many peoples and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war no more. And the conflation verses Hebrews chapter one, verse 12, like a robe, you will roll them up like a garment. They will be changed, but you are the same and your years will have no end. The millennial reign is going to be a beautiful place he is going to make all things new. Um, and, and, you know, our years will go on with the Lord, right? He will go on into infinity and beyond. He is an amazing God and there will be no more or no more hurting, no more pain. What a wonderful place to be. Do you want to be there? All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful word, Lord Jesus, forgive us for all of our sins. Let us be ready at your return. Let us be ready to, to do your will, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross, and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for this. Jesus, forgive me of my sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord, if there's anybody who did receive Christ as their Savior and Lord, um, just let the Holy Spirit in you. The Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth meaning he's going to show you the way and show you how to stay into the will of the Father. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.